All right, guys, the next thing that we're gonna do after the foam rolling, after that biphasic stretching, is we're gonna get a little bit of posterior glute activation in with the bridge plus band. So the way that we're gonna set this up is a little bit different than your average glute bridge that you'll see in physical therapy or some activation drills in the dynamic warm-up. The way that I want you to set up is actually bringing your feet in a little bit more narrow. So you're gonna have the feet closer together. What this is gonna allow is getting the hips into a more centrated position. Because if we're out wide, you know, the hip, the ball and socket joint, it kind of gets out of that centrated position. We want it smack dab in the middle. And the way that we do that is by bringing the feet in and driving the knees out slightly. Just to aid in that position, we're gonna be using a pro mini band here. We're gonna put it around the knees. And we're gonna get set here. So right above the knees usually works well. It doesn't have to be anything super heavy, but just to cue that first position. So we're gonna be coming down. Shoulders down on the ground. We're gonna have the feet a little bit closer and the hands are gonna be right down into the ground, pressing down to the ground as well. So the first move is gonna actually be coming into external rotation and abduction of the hips. Driving up, coming down, and relaxing. So it's gonna be a one, two, three, and then four. So you can also get a little bit more tension for a more advanced variation. Get your hands and elbows tensioning as we go through. So tension through the system of the upper extremities, and relax. So only try it four, five, six reps at a time. Take a break and go in through multiple sets of this because this is dynamic neuromuscular activation, not strength.